my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. Welcome back guys to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host Jay Schatzer and today we got another wonderful, wonderful Italian horror flick for you. Lamberto Bava's absolutely entertaining masterpiece, Demons. Now this 1985 flick is one for the record books. So if you've seen it before you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it before, check this shit out guys. Here is Demons. Demons is a gore-filled and highly entertaining Italian horror flick that shows just what would happen if the movie that you are watching springs to life and wreaks havoc in the real world. The film is brought to stylistic life by Lamberto Bava, the son of one of Italian horror cinema's most prolific director, Mario Bava. Lamberto shows that he has just as much visual flair and gothic sensibilities as his father, providing a technicolor nightmare that mirrors some of Mario's most prolific films. Borrowing heavily from collaborator Dario Argento, Baba presents a bloody film where demons make cemeteries their cathedrals and cities your tombs. Sounds like fun, huh? Well, let's get a little more into this great flick. The film follows a group of moviegoers who get a random ticket to a screening of a mysterious movie. Once all the characters are in place, the film starts, and one by one, they all start changing into crazy possessed demons. Now, the reasoning isn't given why these people are possessed or changing into these creatures, but you know what? I don't give a shit. It's still fun. And what the film has on display is Italian horror at its finest, as we see the blood flow in buckets and are served stylistic visual cues in hefty portions. It's absolutely enjoyable, and the offbeat cast only adds to the unusual flavor. The great thing about this film is the mechanic of putting a film within a film and having that inner film manipulate the outcome of the world of the real. It sounds very highbrow, but in actuality, you shouldn't have to worry because it is an Italian horror film through and through. The technique is hidden under a tone of gore and an unabashed amount of violence, but the fact that Lamberto Bava and company were able to create such a surreal yet believable film in one story gives me a warm, tingly feeling inside. In all seriousness though, the execution of this dual existence that's sustained in the film is rather accomplished in sense and tone. Simply put, it's absolutely crazy. All in all, if you're looking for logic, then you need to get to another movie. This is an Italian horror flick that focuses on demons possessing people from inside a movie. It's 80s, it's gory, and it's entertaining as all hell. Take it for what it is and run with it because this is a roller coaster ride of demonic proportions. That being said, you'll find everything that makes these Italian gore fests the amusing spectacle that they are. Eye sockets are gouged, flesh is torn, and gruesome practical effects are celebrated with full and utmost enthusiasm. Not only that, but you'll get the ever so dumb decisions made by all the main characters and some dialogue that will have you scratching your head in bewilderment. But isn't that why we love this genre in the first place? To simply summarize it all, Demons is a rip-roaring ride of demonic violence that literally rips your mind apart as it proceeds to delve into some insane and bloody territory. Following the footsteps of past genre efforts, Demons stays close to the formula of blood, guts, and rock and roll. Goblin's Claudio Simonetti infuses an immensely demented score to the atmospherically ferocious visuals and keeps the audible tension of the film intact. Toppled with grotesque special effects that bring the demons to strikingly disturbing life, Demons brings the pain when it comes to the overabundance of gore, crazed characters, and no-holds-barred entertainment. I highly recommend this film to anyone who enjoys a good old Italian horror flick and to those who like your entertainment fun and bloody. And honestly, who doesn't? Well guys, that was Demons, and what a, what a beauty, huh? Ah, uh, I got nothing to say other than I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're enjoying the channel. Putting a lot of work into this, and hoping it works out. Uh, if you're liking it, please like and subscribe, and leave a comment. I'd love to see what you guys think, some feedback, and that's about it. Next up on the plate is, I think I'm going for the original Night of the Living Dead. So, George Romero's masterpiece. So, I'll see you guys then, and hope you enjoy it. See ya.